you know, uh, our uh, view. It is a view of the uh, of the neighboring countries. So uh, the uh, we are, you know, a member of ASEAN. At the moment, uh, Singapore is the chairman of ASEAN. And uh, in October, after the you know uh, the uh, the crisis that Professor you know had uh, mentioned, there was a, you know, a a Security Council meeting, you know, on Myanmar, and uh, let me, you know, uh, quote to you uh, what the uh, ambassador of uh, Singapore, Singapore said. And uh, I don't want to quote him wrong, uh, so uh, let me uh, let me read it read it to you. This is remarks by the uh, ambassador Vanu Goplan at the Security Council session on the situation in Myanmar, 5th October 2007, and I quote. It will be a grievous mistake to think that if the SPDC, which is a military government, left the scene tomorrow, all would certainly be welled, and all problems will be automatically be resolved. The military is a key institution in Myanmar that cannot be wished away. Any peaceful solution to the crisis will have to be in, to involve all parties, including the military. If the military is not part of the solution, there will be no solution. If the process is mishandled, you talk about disunity. This is not only our fear, it is also the fear you know, of our neighboring countries. If the process is mishandled, it could result in greater instability and more suffering for the Myanmar people. And uh, he quoted Tham Nguyen, uh, who is a grandson uh, of uh, the first Asian uh, Secretary, uh, Secretary General, U Thant. Uh, Tham Nguyen, a former US uh, Secretary official and grandson of U Thant, one recently that the world must be careful that the change it wants to see in Myanmar does not lead to anarchy seen in Iraq. Myanmar is not a homogeneous state. There are many armed ethnic groups that are opposed to central government rule and only a very tenuous ceasefire prevents the renewal of hostilities. This should not be an excuse for delaying necessary steps forward and we're not delaying it, but neither do we want a Yugoslavia in Southeast Asia. So uh, that is a real fear. Disunity, disintegration of the country, it is a real fear uh, you know, for our government and people, but it is also a real fear uh, for the countries of the region. Uh, two more questions before I open it to the floor for questions. The first is uh, that the professor under whose aegis we are meeting here today said that you had fired at innocent civilians who were protesting. Is he right or is he wrong? Uh, the, uh, you know, uh, let me uh, tell you uh, what the situation is. We had, a, you know, uh, the Myanmar people uh, are quick to anger. So uh, we had a, a situation in 1988, which started, you know, uh, from the demonstration of a few hundred people which lead uh, lead uh, to an, uh, anarchy in the entire country and uh, the in again uh, you know uh, the, in the incident that uh, the professor you know uh, mentioned initially there were only you know a few you know 100 people but there is always the element underground element involved there is always uh, the element uh, from uh, the uh, the, the, uh, the remaining, you know, insurgents group involved. And, uh, you know, uh, the government have documentary evidence that a group of people behind that, you know, are uh, planning, uh, you know, a, a, uh, the a, a terrorist actions, you know, against the government. Uh, in Myanmar, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, Ambassador, and uh, the you say Pakistan is uh, not a good example. Uh, in India, in all the former uh, British colonial, uh, you know, uh, uh, country, we have a a section uh, in you know our legal system called Section 144, called aid uh, to civilian authorities. When the civilian authorities, you know, cannot cannot control the situation, the military is called for. So what the military give is give warning three times, and uh, you know if that warning you know is not followed, the you know uh, the procedure uh, call you know for firing. 
So, you know, yes, there was firing. The government uh, also said that there were, you know, uh, were casualty. There were 16 people died, you know, because of this uh, tragic in incident. It is true. I understand Section 144, which means calling the army to help civilian power. Uh, we have that in all countries, including in the United States. <clears throat> in Katrina, uh, the army had to be called in to aid uh, civilian power. But my final uh, question is more of a suggestion than a question. You don't have very good relations with the United States. And you have a problem with the strength of the army in Myanmar. Uh, my suggestion is that the United States needs a lot of troops in Iraq and in Afghanistan. Why can't you export your army to them? You'll be becoming a better friend of the United States, and you'll solve your problem about your army. Uh, kill two birds with one stone. Uh, Ambassador, I, I, shall, I shall certainly convey you know, uh, your good suggestion to, you know, to my government. <laughs> the floor is open for questions from the floor. Yes, sir. I think my recollection of history is pretty good. Uh, you had a, a great world leader, Yu Tan, who uh, represented democracy, who was such a symbol uh, many, many years ago. And uh, in our history, uh, George Washington, his thoughts, his democracy is perpetuated today. What happened with your government? You made a 363 turn. Yes, uh, we have a great leader in, in Utan. And, uh, uh, you know, uh, that is why I'm trying to explain to, uh, to you the history, you know, uh, of our country. We had a democracy uh, from 1948 uh, to 19, uh, 1958. Uh, but, uh, you know, uh, it was, you know, a democracy by name. But uh, at the same time, we have a lot of war warlordism. The members of parliament have their own militia. There is no law and order. People are killed, you know, on the street. And, you know, you try to, you know, uh, uh, think up what is happening in Iraq, you know, uh, right now. It may not be as, you know, uh, bad as that. But, you know, uh, all these things were happening, you know, in the country. So it is for the, you know, uh, sake of the peace and stability uh, that the military, you know, took up. But our aspiration is for a democratic country. That is why uh, we are holding a referendum in May. And uh, in 2010, uh, we will have, you know, a, 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 a multi-party multi democratic, you know, elections. Uh, whoever won the elections uh, will form the government. And, uh, uh, you know, let me tell you, uh, it, what we aim for is stability. And uh, uh, what we have achieved is a constitution that is acceptable by all, including the insurgent groups. Again, let me go back you know, to the two constitutions. Initially, in the first constitution, we have only uh, four states for the ethnic nationalities. So the ethnic nationalities are unhappy with that, unhappy with that. So in the uh, 1974 constitution, we added three more states, three more states. Uh, and uh, they were happy, but those people who do not get the states are still unhappy. And uh, you know, the rebellions you know, go on, the insurgency you know, uh, go on. So what you have achieved now, and it's not easy to do that, because let's say this is a Shan state. Uh, the war also won uh, you know, a state of their own. But the Shan doesn't want to, uh, want to give uh, you know, uh, uh, any of the state to the war. What you have now uh, done is what, the, what we call self-administered areas uh, you know, uh, for the uh, ethnic nationalities with sizable population. They have their own parliaments. They have their own, own government. Then when it is agreed to, uh, we have to work out the boundaries, you know, uh, inside the Shan state, which boundaries will still uh, be retained by the Shan state, which boundaries will go to the new self-administered, you know, zone. So uh, uh, the short, you know, uh, answer is, it is because of the instability that we lost our democracy. We are being able to bring back, you know, uh, peace and stability to the country. So we are now going back to democracy. 
This U, yes. which keeps coming up in all yes. these names, what is this? Is it a title? Is it a, is it a tribe? Is it, a, is it the only title? Are there other titles? Are you also an U or not? <laughs> uh, uh, what is this? Uh, you know, uh, Ambassador, uh, uh, 